Let's go over how to navigate the Financial Value Transparency and Gainful Employment FET slash GE reporting application and completers list. Log on to the Clearinghouse Secure site. On the Student Reporting tab, click the FET slash GE reporting dashboard. You must have the Financial Aid Officer or Financial Aid Viewer role to access it although multiple users can assist with reporting. If you do not have a role related to FBT slash GE, you will receive a notification indicating you are not authorized to access the application. You can reach out to one of your school's clearinghouse user administrators to request access. In the left menu of FBT slash GE reporting, you can access Student Lookup, Service Profile, where you can view additional information on your service agreement, a list of FET slash GE authorized users, your student level report election, either the standard or transitional cohort type, and a tab to set up your PGP key for report encryption, and resources for additional information on the completers list process. You can also access the data reporting dashboard. For the initial draft completers list, you'll review and confirm the accuracy of the student records that NSLDS included on your institution's list. NSLDS provides 60 calendar days to review and make corrections to the completers list from the date NSLDS initially distributed the list, either directly to the school or to the clearinghouse. Once the completers list is received from NSLDS, the completers list tile will display a countdown of remaining days for you to make corrections and is preset at 50 days. We preset the countdown clock on our site at 50 days to ensure adequate time for you to make corrections to your draft completers list and for the clearinghouse to send the list to NSLDS within the required 60 days. The number of days available for you to review and work the list could be less than 50 days based on when NSLDS distributes the completers list versus when you activated our FBT slash GE service. Click Select Report in the completers list tile to get started. Once the report is accessed, this button will change to Resume Report. Review the page introducing the completers list process and select Continue. The Draft Completers List page shows current and previously received completers lists. Throughout the completers list pages, you will find the countdown clock reflecting the calendar days remaining in the correction period. For each discrepancy list, the total records in the current list and number of data discrepancies are displayed. For the exclusions list, this includes all students that NSLDS sent in the draft completers list, where users can update exclusions for students or mark a student for removal from the final completers list. You should download the draft of the completers list before your school starts its review and updates. Since all reports that are downloaded use PGP encryption to securely exchange files with the clearinghouse, Make sure to set up your PGP key before downloading your draft completers list. You can only work on the most current completers list. To begin, select Build Worksheet on the draft completers list page. Here, you will work to resolve discrepancies between the clearinghouse's system and the completers list sent from NSLDS using the three tiles on the page. Each tile displays the number of records in each section. NSLDS generates a draft completers list based on what is reflected in the NSLDS database, but may be missing students. When a draft completers list is sent from NSLDS to the clearinghouse, our system automatically runs a job to find students with a graduated program status for programs with at least 30 completers. It then provides a list of the discrepancies between the clearinghouse enrollment data and what was received from NSLDS. The student records missing from completers list is a list of the student records the clearinghouse identified in our system 
with a graduated status who are missing from the completers list provided by NSLDS. It is critical that you review and update this section during the correction period as it helps to provide accurate reporting of completers to NSLDS. Updating records missing a graduated or G status in the Clearinghouse system on the Student Records Missing Worksheet will also update these students' enrollment records at the Clearinghouse, ensuring consistency between the Clearinghouse and NSLDS. The Review and Update Exclusions list comprises all students provided on the Draft Completers list received from NSLDS. You can use this section to track updates that need to be updated in NSLDS directly, such as marking students for removal from the completers list to updating the student's exclusion type, which includes adding or removing the CTP program indicator and or approved prison education program indicator. When finished, you should use the information on the worksheet to be updated in NSLDS tab in the Review and Update Exclusions section, or use the Review and Update Exclusions tab of the Draft Completers list as a reference for the required updates that you make in the NSLDS system directly. As you work each section, you'll find guidance provided at the top of the page. In addition, the number of records for the selected tab is at the top of the table. For privacy reasons, only the last four digits of a student's Social Security Number, or SSN, is displayed. You can unmask individual SSNs by clicking Show next to a student's SSN. Depending on the section you're working in, you can expand the row to view additional information, like the student college ID, and undo updates made to the record. We recommend you make updates in small batches. If you are inactive within the application for 15 minutes, you will be logged out and any changes without an action applied will be lost. You must mark each section as complete to indicate you are finished making updates. No changes can be made to the section once it is marked as complete. Once a section is marked as complete, you can go to step 1 or 3 to download an updated draft completers list. Any identified updates to the student record will be highlighted on the tabs that match the tile names. Once all three sections are marked as complete, you can then proceed to making the exclusion updates directly in NSLDS. At any time during the clearinghouse correction period, you can request an ad hoc draft completers list from NSLDS. Please allow 24 to 48 hours for NSLDS to send the new ad hoc draft completers list and for the clearinghouse to reconcile it. If the clearinghouse receives a full ad hoc draft completers list while you are working on the most recently received draft completers list, you can choose to either accept or reject the new incoming list on the draft completers list page. Once you accept a new draft completers list, the current one becomes inactive so you should let your team who are working on the current list know before you accept a new draft completers list. If you requested a partial list from NSLDS, it will automatically be added to the previously received completers list, which you can download. If you marked a section as complete by mistake and need to make additional updates, you can request an additional full ad hoc draft completers list from NSLDS. After the clearinghouse correction period expires, your completers list will change from active to inactive and only be available for you to view in FVT slash GE reporting. Make sure to mark the missing from completers list section as complete before the clearinghouse correction period ends or the student selected to be added to the final completers list will not be sent to NSLDS. NSLDS will send the final completers list after its 60-day correction period is complete. You will receive an email notification that your final completers list is available for download on the Clearinghouse Secure site. For more information on the three completers list tiles, please see our other FVT slash GE tutorials and resources.